What's up, Hyperfast Nation? On this episode of the show, we are giving you a special glimpse into the 2023 Hyperfast Agent Summit that was held in October in Arlington, Virginia, where Carrie and I brought together some amazing speakers. In this episode, you're going to hear from Matt Plummer. Matt is a real estate agent, financial coach, and wealth builder who has helped hundreds of real estate agents answer the question of what do I do after I get the commission check in order to build wealth? Take a look at what Matt had to teach at the summit. Welcome, everyone. Two tunes here. All right, Dan and Carrie, thank you so much for having me out. Uh, my name is Matt Plummer, as they said, uh, living in Las Vegas. I actually used to live here in Northern Virginia for 20 years, so. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's always great to come back to the DMV. What we're going to talk about today, I love that everyone went through, we went around the horn and understand. I think it's very important uh, to just, when, as a, from a speaker and in a room, like, what do people want? Like, I can sit up here and we can talk about, like, whatever, you know, money. But if that doesn't resonate with the crowd, and I heard scaling and growth, uh, the, the last person that spoke, who, who was the last person that spoke that said they were with Compass that wanted to kind of fire themselves, right? Like the money stuff is probably your most important thing because everything is driven by, by revenue. And how can we exit that transaction treadmill, right? So we're going to talk a lot about today um, how to exit the transaction treadmill, achieve and build stress-free wealth. Um, the, uh, the quick offer that I, ha I will have for everyone is I do have a free downloadable, uh, downloadable ebook. I've had thousands of conversations with real estate agents of research that's gone into this around the five financial mistakes that real estate agents make, how to avoid them. Uh, there'll be a link that you guys can get a free download on all of that. Uh, so make sure you stay to the end. Quick backstory. Um, a decade ago, I was 300 pounds, alcoholic, addictive sports gambler, smoking two packs of cigarettes a day, barely married for 18 months, thinking the, my whole world was going to end. And um, I had a rock bottom moment that, um, I had several, right? However, you know, when you have the right people in your life and you get in the right rooms, uh, that's what I did. I had to reach out to, to new people. And so um, I went on a journey in 2012. Uh, like I said, I was alcoholic, addictive sports gambler. I smoked two packs a day, 300 pounds, um, and I was uh, I was able. Actually, I was at an event just down the road uh, where I had my last drink in 2000, and, uh, May 19, 2012. However, I want you to write something down. Discipline bleeds. Okay, because when I had my rock bottom moment and I was on that counselor's couch, not able to fit, I didn't want to stop drinking. I didn't want to stop gambling. I didn't want to stop smoking. However, I didn't fit, and my wife was on the other side crying her eyes out because I wasn't who she wanted to marry or she wasn't, I wasn't living up to my potential is really why she was upset. And so I found the thing that I could control. You know, Carrie mentioned, like, we have to control what we can control. I found the thing, and that was what I put into my mouth. And so as I started losing weight and seeing victories on the scale, I was able to stop drinking at less, right? When I drank at less, I didn't care who was playing on Sunday afternoons. So 90 days later, I had broken down all of these addictions. And I went through all of that with my wife and uncovered a year and a half later, we were $550,000 in debt. Because we didn't have an income problem, we had a spending problem, who can agree? Who can relate, right? We live in the, one of the wealthiest places in the plant, on the planet, right? Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses, two three percent interest or a two, two, two to three percent commission rates. Like we don't have an income problem in Northern Virginia. Fair? We have a spending problem, and that's across the country. And so we started. We we got to that place because we've tried to out earn our spending. 
we'd go buy things and then try to go make the money, right? We'd buy cars with $500,000 payments and then go sell another house to justify the payment. And when you get caught in that rat race, it forces you to go sell another house. It forces you to take another listing at 2% instead of 4% or, or a 3% instead of 6%, right? Or work with that buyer that's not in your area, right? So when we're strapped to this debt, and we're gonna talk about it in a minute, moment, that we were able to free ourselves 40 months later to eliminate $500,000 worth of debt. Got my real estate license, started a coaching business, and started asking ourselves bigger questions on certain things in life now that we had started some freedom, okay? When we started, we had $145,000 negative, $145, negative net worth, $145,000. That's everything, right? Today, it's, it's well over a million dollars. So the big question I want you to ask yourself this, how do we create financial freedom to help build stress-free wealth? Here's what we know to be true. The two things that give real estate agents the most stress and anxiety is inconsistent income and financial disorganization. Inconsistent income and financial disorganization. We don't have an income problem, we have a cash flow problem. Agents make less than they think, we all spend more than we care to admit, which causes us to be behind on taxes and or retirement. Am I speaking to the right room? It's okay, because three parts of a transformation, there are three steps. Awareness, decision, intentionality. All right? Awareness, decision, intentionality. Today is going to be a big day of awareness for a lot of people in the room because I want you to ask questions you might not have had the courage to ask yourselves, right? And keep it, like, you can keep it inside, internal. You don't have to go and, and tell everyone that you haven't paid taxes in the last four years. It's okay, <laughs> right? Or you have four car payments, and there's two people that drive cars, right? We've all been there, right? We've got credit cards. We have the government, right? We have, you know, we've been in real estate for 10 years, and we still owe Sally Mae. It's okay. It's all right. Right? Because awareness, the very first step, all that awareness is is choices from the past. All up to today. Right? It's just the truth. It's just the facts. The facts are truth and the truth will set you free. Right? I was 300 pounds. I was an alcoholic. I gambled on sports. Right? I bet $2,000 on the Colts and I only had $50 in my bank account. Whatever it is. Right? I absolutely loved the Chicago Cubs. Does anybody know why? They were the first game of the day. Always. Day games at Wrigley. Didn't matter who they were playing. Didn't matter who, who was pitching. I was betting on that game. It was 1.30 in the afternoon. Didn't matter. I needed the action. I wanted the action. That was an awareness moment. So I want you to ask yourself, what is your reality? How much do you weigh? How much money do you have? What's your relationship with your spouse or your partner? Right? How's your quiet time? Whatever it is, I want you to ask that question and be real with yourself. Second is decision. When I was on that couch, when we were half a million dollars in debt, when we were living $4,000 more than we were making, we had to make a decision. Are you ready to finally stop losing weight or start losing weight? or get your finances under in control, right? Or walk into church, right? Or have the conversation with your spouse on the thing that's nagging you, right? Whatever it is, what is the decision you're gonna make? A lot of my coaching clients, the decision they have to make is we're gonna stop using debt. We're gonna stop using credit cards, right? Because all of their, op their income is going towards op obligations versus opportunities, right? When you go up here to the mixing bowl on 60, uh, 66 and, four, and 495, can you go to Baltimore and Richmond at the same time? When you get to the spur, like you're going one of the two directions, right? So it's so hard and difficult to pay off debt and build wealth at the same time or save money, right? The gas and the brake are down at the same time. So we have to eliminate our obligations so our money can now go towards opportunity. In, your income is your greatest wealth building tool. 
million dollar house, two and a half percent, 25 grand, over and over and over. Like we can go do this, right? So what decision do you need to make? Intentionality. I coach on money. Money, time, relationships are all interwoven. What is going to be your daily, your weekly, your monthly, your quarterly, and your annual rhythm with your money? Right? First 90 days, we don't pay off any debt. We have to stabilize the present. To build wealth, we have to stop the, 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 uh, the leaks. Right? If we're on the Potomac River and we're trying to get from one side to the other and there are holes in the boat, does it matter how fast we paddle? which is the equivalent of just go sell another house, right? If we have holes in the boat, we can't get to the other side of the lake. We have to stop, find the leak, fix the drip. So we build the habit. We review our dollars or review our budget. We look at our bank accounts. It may feel tedious, but we have to see how much money and how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. Where is it going? We have to tell it what to do. What's the rhythm, rhythm weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annually? Everything's a little different. Right? Weekly, we review with our spouse and our partner. Monthly, we track, review, plan, allocate our money. Right? We'll get into the weeds more uh, another time. Quarterly, review our profit and loss. Meet with our money team, coach, CPA, bookkeeper, financial advisor. Same thing annually. There's five financial mistakes. I'm going to go into a couple of them because I think they, uh, they impact this room the most. Like I said, I've, I've got about a 20, 25 page read that you'll get a downloadable copy of that you can download uh, uh, afterwards. So stabilize the present, right? We want to stabilize the present. These financial mistakes, lack of plan, no budget, path of money, uh, emergency funds, and uh, how do we exit from transactions? We stabilize the present. Organization, remember, inconsistent income and financial disorganization. If we fix those two things, how, many of your how much of your stress and anxiety go away, right? If we're selling two houses a month, three houses a month, two houses a month, three houses a month, three houses a month, over and over and over, do our problems, and if there's organization, do a lot of our stress go away, right? So we want to have a, um, a budget and a cash flow spending plan. I want to go back to this for one second. The number one question, you see lack of plan, it's pretty broad. The thing I want you to ask yourself, the next question is what do I want and when do I want it? Most real estate agents don't know the answer to this question. Most entrepreneurs don't know the answer to this question, which if they don't know, they'll fight the fire in front of them, which is another transaction. And it's just another house, another house, another house, another house. They look up 30 years from now They've sold 400 houses or 500 houses, and they're still doing the same thing. So I want you to identify what do you want and when do you want it. We asked that question three to four years ago, and it landed us in Las Vegas. Why? Because I was sick and tired of cold, rain, golf 30 times a year instead of 400 times a year, right, because of the weather traffic, congestion, taxes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we built what we wanted, which was a virtual coaching company that I could do anything anywhere that we were able to build a house in Las Vegas a year and a half ago. So I want you to ask yourself the question, one was what is my reality, two is what do I want and when do I want it, okay? So we have to be organized, eliminate our debt, become profitable. There's, a, uh, there's this path of money I'm going to spend some time uh, this, afternoon, or this morning on. And then we need savings. We need emergency funds. We need sweep accounts. We need sinking funds, right? Who's had a month with no closings? Who's had a month with no closings? Well, we're getting a little bit more honest, right? How much easier would that month have been if you had 40 grand sitting in an envelope underneath the bed? Making 0% interest except you were able to sleep at night and pay the mortgage and pay this and pay this and pay this, right? So we need that stuff. Profitability, who's here has heard of Profit First? Who has read the book? 
Who's implemented it? <laughs> right? It's the number one cash management system. I'm a certified financial or a certified profit first professional. The gentleman that wants to exit his business, the number one thing you can do is implement profit first. 100%. Do it by the book and you'll be out of, you'll, you'll have fired yourself in 12 months. So if you want to exit the business, implement profit first. It's the first step. Okay? I can help you with that. There's a great book called Profit First. I walk you through the path of money. Then we structure the future, right? This is, this is veggies. Like this is our vegetables. This is our broccoli. This is our salads. This is our fruit, right? This is like the stuff we don't want to do, but we have to do it. This is the veg. This is the dessert, right? Structuring the future. Opportunity, investing, savings, rental real estate, capital funds, right? How do we build reoccurring and residual cash flow, right? We all know what, it's the how and it's the actual holding that how accountable. What do we need to do? How are we gonna do it? And then the question I want you to ask yourself, who can help me get there? Is it a coach, is it a CPA, is it a bookkeeper, right? Is it a mentor, right? So, as I wrap up, um, I do want to talk a little bit about profit first. Do we have four minutes? Great. Um, profit first is a cash flow management system, right? It takes what we have learned in high school and in college. Dan mentioned it. We aren't taught any of this at whatever brokerage we're with or whatever team we're on. It's just not taught. It's definitely not taught in school, it's not taught in corporate America, and it's not taught in real estate world, right? So the only way you're gonna hear it is here and in books and podcasts and YouTube, right? That's the only place you're gonna hear it. So what it does is it has taken the thing that we learned, sales minus expenses equals profit. Who here runs a business on a profit and loss statement? Great, it's the first number you look at every time you open the profit and loss statement. Where do you look? Ryan, where do you look? Bottom right. Over, down. What's the number? My biggest question is, where's that money? Generally, it's nowhere. If you make 200 grand net profit, you owe the government $60,000. Where's that money? Right? So profit first takes sales minus, pro sales minus expenses equals profit. Right, because who's getting paid first? Admin, Amex, Zillow, Realtor.com, et cetera, et cetera, marketing, all the stuff. And you're left with all of the grubby little second, le second uh, the, the leftovers. What we do at Profit First, sales minus profit equal expenses. We pay you first, profit. We pay you for doing the work. Team leader that's in production, right? We pay and set aside money for the government out of every transaction. What a concept, right? If we were in corporate America, the government gets paid every check. Why don't we do it in real estate or real estate commissions? And then we force the business to work on what's left. And I have a whole course and a whole coaching platform that helps you implement that. But it's the thing I want you to start asking yourselves is what has to be true to get what I want and looking at through this lens of backwards and paying ourselves first rather than waiting until what's le left over. Okay, was today helpful? All right, I want you to get out of debt. I want you to get some, some money saved up. I want you to implement profit first. I promise you 12 to 24 months later, you won't have to sell as much real estate to make more money than you're making today especially bringing it home. I promise you, you won't have to. Okay? I have time for one question. What's the one question somebody wants to ask? Yes, ma'am. What was the question? Oh, never mind. I wrote it down wrong. I got it. Discipline bleeds, so that means that, what were you saying about that? Discipline bleeds when you focus on one thing as I was losing weight. Right. 
the next thing was it was easier to stop drinking. As okay. soon as I was stop, so was, I was drinking less, it was easier Got to it. stop gambling, right? It. yep. Whether it's weight loss or, hey, I lead generate 20 minutes a day, okay? And then I can get to 30 minutes, then I can get to 50 minutes, and then I can go, oh, I can go take 10,000 steps a day. And the next thing you know, oh, I can go on a date with my wife once a week, right? Disip once you start building discipline and building a habit in one area, it'll generally bleed to other areas of your life. Okay. The website is f the number five financial mistakes.com. The number five financial mistakes.com. Free download. Um, I've got my social handles up here Coach Matt Plummer on Instagram, Matt Plummer on Facebook. If you guys ever have any questions, reach out. Dan and Carrie, thanks again for having me. Hopefully, this was enjoyable. You guys have a full day this afternoon. Uh, let's go kill it. Enjoy the day. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Hyperfast Agent Show and getting a live look into one of our events. We put these events on multiple times a year. We also do weekly coaching calls uh, through our Hyperfast Agent program, as well as for the agents who join us at EXP Realty. And if you're thinking about making a move to a brokerage that will allow you to keep more of your commission, become an owner in the company and build residual income, Carrie and I would love to be your business partners. We will coach you. We will guide you. We will help you scale your real estate team. We'll help you build your revenue share organization uh, because we are truly partners with you when you join us at EXP Realty. And that's why we've become one of the fastest growing groups ever in the history of EXP. If you want to learn more about partnering with us, you can just pick up your phone, your cell phone, send me a text message, 703-638-4393. Yes, it is me that will answer and I'll respond and send you some information and you know we can schedule a call on Zoom. All you have to do if you're thinking about partnering with me at eXp Realty or you, know, you just want to compare it to the situation you have now so that you can make a fully informed decision, uh, you just have to pick up your phone, text me at 703-638-4393. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the show. If you did, please like it. Give us some comments, leave us a review on iTunes, and share it with other real estate agents. We'll see you next time.